I and everyone's coming back out too. So let's go ahead and get this uh, good shot of this uh, crowd. <laughs> Come on, gotta get my Snapchat popping. This is just after Zero lost. Everyone's coming back. Uh, someone please find Zero. Damn. All right. Well, here we go. Okay. So getting right into it, man. <laughs> if the, if your hype was gone for a little bit, we are right back, man. We have uh, Team Zero's leader. Zero out of the tournament now. Now let's see what the rest of his team can do right here. Uh, you know, Fo actually being on his team, is he going to be able to take out another member of Team Ally or put him in the losers? Or uh, is it just going to be like just spelling imminent doom for Team Zero? Is there going to be Discord in Team Zero? Discord. TK, I'm, I'm in pain. But I'm back. Let, let's just, just got to roll with the punches, man. Did you see? Man, Lutai's pop off was just so like he was like I don't even know what happened. But I love about him. All right, he got Fo, man, right, destroying stocks right now. All right, Fo with got the us PKT2. back. Oh my god, I'm sorry, Fo. Man, I wasn't looking, but now you got my me bad. back, man. My bad. My we bad. back. <laughs> but here it is, Fo. No stranger to connecting those uh, the PK Thunder two on his opponents. Uh, I've seen some of his setups whenever people are trying to land. Definitely a crowd pleaser too, man. Whenever I see this guy play. Be ready, man. His pop-offs are great. Yeah. Like, like that nest play is just ridiculous too. And one of these days, man, I just hope to see him stream. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. I miss yeah, man. Streams, come on, man. bring it back. Th folks. Those are deadly, man. Come uh, on. You were, you were the original Smash. And his, man. <laughs> his emotes are so good. But yeah. Anyway. Also, more respect to Nia Tono as well. You know, an amazing player. And wait oh, a minute. Okay. He was close, but Nia Tono managed to step up in time. Still, Focus. Wow. Uh, what? All right. <laughs> a little bit the, too far from the ledge right there. That was a situation. blooper moment right yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> right? Next time. Next time. Next time. I was almost about to be like a next game situation right there, but either way. Ooh. Still back in it. We still got a little bit of lead right here. Look for that grab. Notoriously, Fo actually used to have a problem. Uh, well, I won't say with all Sheiks, but you know, I remember back in the days when Zero was playing Sheik, and he was making fun of like He had no idea what to do in this matchup. Yep. It seems like he had much. So, uh, got himself back into this game right here. Trying to recover it. Nice. Again. Just making sure he grabs that ledge and also put a little hitbox in front of him. Not allowing uh, Neotono to do anything as he gets next to him. I know. Neotono. All right. Well, I was going to say, Neotono was actually playing very smart near those ledge. But then he runs straight in there and drops shield for the... Oh! Wow! That back air is extra strong. That, that, it's just ridiculous. Uh, the way Neotono was playing, right? He started to catch on to the fact that Fo likes to approach a lot with these neutral layers. And so he started, like, pulling back and counterattacking them. But at some point, he just saw Fo came through with the trade. He was like, all right, if you're willing to keep trying to go air to air with me, I'm going to just take this gamble here with this back air. And it paid out. Yeah. So there Definitely paid off for him right there. Yeah. I mean, I. I PK <laughs> Breezy's still recovering? I'm, I'm still, still recovering. recovering. I'm sorry, man. What the heck? <laughs> Woo. Why Austin tweet take down the posters? Don't do that, Austin. <laughs> Come on, Austin. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> anyway, so Neotono, you know, gonna try to get himself back into this game, you know, thinking pretty hard about what he has to do to get past this uh, this nest right here. Obviously, one of the top two nests in the world between him and I think, uh, what, Shaky at this point in time. Him and Shaky definitely be home. I'm in shambles, TK. I'm sorry. I'm still out here. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yo, can we get a, a commercial break after this? I need to refresh. All right. But anyway, game two. Game two right here. As we said, we have uh, oh, we have our foe with the game one right there win. And I, but as I was saying earlier, you know, we definitely saw him sitting sitting near the ledge, and I thought Neil Tunnel was actually going to run over there and just get grab back throw. You know, you got to watch out for situations like that. Oh, oh my! Oh my! Oh, that God, was so nice. Foe. Oh, and that was like so risky too. I thought he was gonna uh, end up like getting his PK Thunder stolen, right there. No! Oh, oh okay. God. It was smart though. You saw what he was doing? Yeah. He, so when Nintendo tried to air dodge past him to uh, take his PK Thunder, but he actually zoomed it a little farther out so that he could still hit himself and then try to hit him with the uh, you know the, the wall bounce, but he didn't get enough bounce off of it. Unfortunate. Back and forth right here with these first two stocks. Yeah, uh, I think what happened? The PK Thunder just straight up like got caught in the wall. Yeah. Yeah, it was gone. Yeah. Uh oh, here we go again though, carrying him off the platform. Oh, nice. the clean head. Yeah, I had to get that extra, extra damage right there. right there, man. Jeez. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that's is, that's is ridiculous. I mean, that's, that's one of the best moves up there in the game, free. Okay, land it down. Still trying to get this air dust through, but Nintendo not having any of that. Quick step back forward here. 
that air dodge, man. A really hard air dodge to punish. I mean, it's not even like uh, the level of invincibility on it. It's because it stays off the Z-axis for so long. But even so, you'll still miss a couple moves uh, even when it's done. Oh, my God. I saw it. Yeah. Smart. Whoa. Wait. That might be a stock. Yep. Good stuff right there. Really good step between Newtono and Foe so far. Yeah, I thought I thought he was going to... Um, I thought he did that on purpose, honestly, that hit his PK Thunder into the ground, so instead of him getting chased down by uh, Neotono, Neotono was probably going to try to run past him, but his reaction time was so good to see that Ness didn't go anywhere that he ran and immediately stopped, shielded, waited for Foe to get up, finish that game. Smart. Smart stuff. Whew. All you going to see, honestly, all you're going to see in top 96 is smart stuff. <laughs> you know? Smart stuff and a lot of uh, risky gambles that might pay out really well, too. Um, here we go. Game three. Foe. It looks like the going back to Final Destination. Okay, I was about to say, you know, going back to FD helped out Neotono, but Fo looks like he likes FD as well. So. Yeah. Okay. Tom Tomahawk jabs, though? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> we inventing the game right here. Look at this movement right here from Neotono, yeah. though. Looks like Fo trying to see if he can just lead in with a dash attack, but... Look at the spacing right here from Neotono. He's not getting grabbed at all. Yeah, beautiful spacing right there on that forward air. Still caught him. Caught full reaching with that uh, grab. Ends up getting his own right there. Oh, a oh. little bit of a mistake, but doesn't get punished for it. Yeah, he kind of was like right back in a neutral afterwards. <laughs> Good spacing right there by Fo. Looks like trying to go air to air with Sheik might be the order of the day. But these fares, definitely difficult to deal with. Yeah. Okay, oh, to walk up on him. That was close, but still gets the uh, jabs right there. Okay. So, you know, getting elusive enough to avoid that follow-up of the uh, Bouncy Fish. Uh-huh. Going to chase him down as well with the PK Thunder. There comes Fo trying to get back on stage again. I have yet to see him get a back throw, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's not been in his repertoire so far because Nintendo, the way he's been playing around these grabs, yeah. uh, he's not so. allowing, you know, Fo to even get that situation. He hasn't played risky near the ledge. At any situation, the only time he actually even goes off stage like that is when he knows he's going to get that confirmed. Got the needles straight into that bounce fish, taking that stock right there. The Nintendo looked like he woke up. Fo trying to see if he can just guard against the ledge jumps from the edge. That's why you see him going for the nice. jump. But that's the setup. Beautiful stuff with that PK Thunder 2 connecting right there. Yeah, he knew he cut off uh, enough of his options that that was going to be... Uh, the next move that was going to be able to allow him to take that stock. That was very smart on him. I think the only thing he might have been able to do was, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I saw it, but he might have been able to bounce the fish away. Maybe, no. like, riskily up B just to avoid it, but who's really thinking about that in that situation? He was oh! oh, trying to get it again. That was close. Almost had that opportunity. Yeah. Newtono's going to have to watch out if he gets caught in a juggle situation against Foke because Foke will pull out that PK Thunder setup. Gonna make it back to stage right here. Yeah, I mean, Fo has definitely been known to get a lot of stocks like that with those PK Thunders, so. Woo! Okay. okay. Still caught him with the tail of it. Just getting a little extra damage, also creating a little space. But at this point in time, I feel like giving uh, Neil Tunnel that space is just gonna allow him to set up for the needles. Covering extra low. Neil Tunnel actually forced that though with the grenade. Very smart. Yep, and good Don't stuff. really get to see a lot of grenade usage, so. True, true. Okay, I thought we were gonna probably see an up air right there from Fo, but I thought we were not ready. Right there too. Wait a second. Look at the percent. Yeah. Gotta watch himself now. I mean, one grab from Foe should be able to take it. Fighting his way in here. Neotono. I mean, even with him still playing, like, oh! Just jump straight over those needles. Too close right there uh, with the needle throw. I mean, that is a very punishable move if you are not, if you don't have that max distance. And so Foe got his Vegas homeboys, sister in the front. We got Neo, all the Vegas homeboys in the front right now, cheering on their uh, Vegas counterpart right there. Foe, man. Trying to make it happen. Trying to get himself in the top 32 here. It's very respectable, too, you know, still sticking with Ness. I, I love his uh, secondary, though. He has a Falco. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> his Falco's pretty good. I don't know if we're going to see it in this set, but his Ness already got him two wins here. He needs just one more, and he's out of this game. Went with a W, though, of course. All right. Okay, not even going for a grab. Respected the fair right there. Understands the mix-ups that she could go for, you know, on shield afterwards with single jab or even double jab. Or just let's repeat another aerial. Okay, chase him down yet again. Yep, just catching him in the skies. He understands his flow, it seems. Nice. Again, mm -hmm. you know, just getting those B&Bs right there. You're going to see those quick... Uh, 
combos into the bounce fish to add on that early damage. And now, really controlling the stage or controlling where Foe goes right now. Foe just trying to figure out a way to get down. And Miss Hunter not allowing any of that. Managing to sneak in that back air. Already pushing the Atona to the corner like that. It's crazy. Okay. Ooh, interesting right there. Instead of going for the up air, actually goes for the neutral air. Probably not wanting to stale it out. And actually chops through both of those. Wow, we're way off stage. That bouncing fish. My Ooh. boy, my boy going, up the, going up the river like a salmon. What up? <laughs> but there's the grab right there. <laughs> air dodge? No, he actually goes for that jump escape. Does not want to get caught. Jeez. Just managing to get as much damage as possible. With all these small little interactions that he's able to get with Bo. Yeah. Okay. Whoa! From wow. the shield! And that, man, that looked like that was actually going to hit too. Like the whole thing. Like he was going to get it all the way for the tail to hold him in place. Wow! The drop zone <laughs> up air! <laughs> My man jumped off stage. <laughs> <The guy, laughs> he's like, I'm going to do whatever it takes, yo. It doesn't matter. Got the big head coming through. Here we go. So again. You now he's doing a good job. Oh, oh, okay. Peep the, trip. the trip. Peep the trip. Woo! Hey. Got the regrab two off the fair. Another one? All right. Not bad. He's still got the decent damage right there. Nietzsche escaping That's with that right there, man. Uh -huh. I see, you know, usually you see them go for the full hop forward air and hit him twice. But this time, he actually wanted the regrab. Very smart. Coming in from foe. Oh, he oh. missed the tech. Oh, I oh, wanted to get the jab. He needed that jab block, but it's all good. See, that? That in that situation, had he got the, um, the short hop of that? Yeah. Yeah, that definitely would have been the, the game right there. One super low right there. Okay. Nitono missing the forward tilt right there. So I'm trying to fight his way back in here. Yep. Nitono just trying to find a way to end this game as quick as possible. There's the up air. Not enough, but the next one should be able to do it if he gets that situation again. Good drift right there by Foe, too. Avoiding any potential uh, setup that could oh, reach into an edge guard. Oh, my God. Foe. Oh, good attack. It's oh. a fucking bat. Oh. Oh. He threw a PK fire instead of the PK thunder. Oh. That's unfortunate, but that was a really good tech. Really good tech right there. And it's gonna look like it didn't quite like that win. Nobody likes to have a win where they feel like they didn't quite deserve it, you know? Yeah, so no, I like definitely that. understand that. But uh, again, you know, following the game five right here. Give him the thumbs up. <laughs> Yo, my man back to Final Destination. It's almost like Sakurai knew, you know? He's like, see, I knew y'all like Final Destination. <laughs> look at the set. I mean, y'all was all y'all was all complaining earlier, <laughs> talking about some wild Omegas, and now y'all just keep using Final Destination. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, Sakurai. We love you, man. Anyway, Whew. getting into this game five right now. Yeah, DNG is the internal by the way. Against uh, is, is, Flo, uh, is Flo now unsponsored? I mean, he's yeah, he, yeah, he been back and forth for coming on and off. So I mean, uh, if he keeps his consistency up, I, I definitely expect to see a tag in front of his yeah. name pretty soon. Definitely, anyway, definitely a free agent, but yeah, shouldn't be. But. Yeah, definitely not. Either way, we got a uh, Flo again. You know. Uh, getting uh, kind of ran over at the beginning of this game. However, you know, a, lot, a few of these games start like that, and he still managed to get two games on the board, so you can't count him out by any means. I think he's just got to get, as the set goes on, just more and more creative. You know, that's definitely one of the, another one of those characters that you should be getting hit by the same thing more than once. You know, uh, and to piggyback off of that, you yeah. saw Foe do that when he got knocked off stage, right? He hit ear dodge, the setup that kept helping Nitono get the stocks, which yeah. was the aerial needles to bounce oh. fish. Oh, my gosh. And I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised, wondering if that would have killed. <laughs> like, if he would have got, like, the sweet spot of that. Would've been real nice. At 53, probably would have put him around 70-something. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Tough situation again for Full. Let's see how he gets back. Okay. Having that double jump definitely helps. Gonna have to push on off stage. Okay. Get some extra damage right here. Oh! Yeah. I, that was it, though. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if he, you know. <gasps> yep, there goes Full losing that stock. Final stock here in the set. Ah, oh, that was so unfortunate. I, feel, I really feel like he would have got that stock if he uh, managed to get that PK Thunder to go across yeah. the stage like yeah. that. So However, though, you know, hopefully he doesn't get too flustered right here, missing that opportunity. Oh, oh, that was nice. Beautiful job right there by Foe. And Neotono and Foe right here. One stock apiece here. This is an exciting set. Neck and neck. No, yes. Only 24%. Again, that's like one grab combo coming in from uh, Foe if he can get it. But immediately Neotono getting the BMBs yet again. Yep. Good grabs right here. Uh-oh. Foe can't seem to get inside. These four tilts, these nares. Pushing Foe off stage. It's the double jump there. Yep. Saved it. Foe now. Okay. Got what he can do here. Opportunity, but Neotono escapes. Another one. Okay. Four there. Oh, and the neutral air. And a little extra. Oh, left himself a little open with that PK fire right there. Good stuff, Neotono. Getting that grabbed. 
Yeah, he hasn't really been able to capitalize off those too much, or at, if at all, uh, in this set so far. But, you know, shout outs to him throwing out still, letting uh, Niantono know that's still an option that he has. Okay, and now he, he does get it. Oh. Notice one thing. Notice one thing. Niantono has full. He has needles. Yeah. Fully charged. Oh, getting Fo so many grabs right here, but that rage actually not allowing him to get any follow ups. Woo! Okay, good, good air dodge stuff. in right there. Yep. Oh, yeah, he's going to have to watch out, man, because Needles to Bouncing Fish could. It's a threat now. Yeah. Okay. He, he, he got rid of them, so now. Still, still getting scary. a scary. Yeah. All right. I had to get rid of that other ones, too, but got three Needles on deck right here. The Wait down smash. A Sneaky setup with the down smash. Okay. Is Fo going to try to set up to a grab it? No pair. Oh, Neotono attacks with that back air. Neotono saying no fear right there. Oh! Okay, he doesn't need the tech right there, but he still needs to get back to stage, and Neotono going deep for it. Wow, what a game. Neotono moving on. Oh, man. Oh, man. Really that's good set. Really, really good, good set. set right there. Yeah, man. That game five uh, coming in from Neotono had to win those last two games to actually stay into it. You know, he was down 2-1 at, at a time. And Fo just could not manage to clutch at the last time. It was looking like a good comeback, though. I have to give him that. He was definitely uh, bringing that game all the way back to a very respectable game. All he needed was one grab. Yeah. Or that up air that he could try to throw out. But maybe expecting the air dodge, Neotono was like,